Well, hello. It's the Saturday wrap for Saturday the 12th of November 2022. And as per last week, scratch his nose, obligatory, misses. Um, it's done a day before. It's actually Friday the 11th, Armistice Day, um, for those who fell in all wars. Anyway, um, so, technical note. Um, M2 MacBook Air, um, iPhone 13 Pro, the wide lens, the Belkin magnetic mount has arrived. I'll come on to that later. Um, and, um, yeah, two lights. It's getting dark. It's getting very dark, to be perfectly honest. Okay, back to the subject. If you haven't seen this before, standard entry point. This is me. I live in Bedworth, South Wales. This is a look back onto my week. Um, so politics, tech, politics in tech, um, beer, lots of beer, food, um, various other things, um, even work, who knew? So start off with a couple of standard things. I'm starting off with the word of the week. And I have to say, I'm trying to avoid talking about Elon and Twitter. Running companies is hard. Criticising them is easy. Um, saying you buy them is easy. Um, not doing your due diligence. Um, foolish. Anyway. Oh, wow. It's a mess. Now, I know other firms are laying people off. Microsoft and Meta. Uh, I think Amazon have done it as well. But, oh, and losing all those very good people especially at the top, uh, it's not going to help. So, the word of the week is Mastodon. Mastodon, uh, based on Activity Pub, is sort of, and I'm simplifying a lot here, a federated version of something like Twitter, but with different rules and different ways of doing things. Um, I've been on it for couple of years at uh, no agenda social um adam curry from the daily show source code um john c dvorak from cranky geeks um and the screensavers or oh, silicon spin i believe anyway everyone's going to mastodon um i'm sort of on beer mastodon um you meet a lot of people there ah yeah, i like it i also like twitter and I'm disappointed with the way things are going. Okay. Um, the app of the week. Um, I was listening to the Nocilla cast, a podcast by Alison Sheridan. And if you haven't already guessed, Nocilla is Alison backwards. She tried out a thing called Tailscale, which is a bit like a VPN, but it allows you to create your own private network for up to 20 devices. Works through NAT routers. And um, it's free. Well, it's free for people like me. Um, so, my uh, Synology and my Umbral server, um, both behind my um, NAT router, which has a firewall. Installed it on my iPads. Can reach them. Can reach them really easily. And it's fast. Did I say it was free? Uh, freemium. Um, but everything I need to do is free. Um, so, if you need to reach something that's back at home from work, um, try tail scale. There's nothing to lose, to be perfectly honest. <sighs> and I like it. Um, I need to install it on more things, to be perfectly honest. Um, the thing of the week. Um, I get up early in the morning. You probably know that. And about four o'clock, I wandered over to the bathroom, brushed the teeth, shave, all that sort of stuff. And I listened to talk sport. And this is the minutiae of sport. And they are talking about the disappearance of football programmes. Not from your premiership or your championship, but for lower down leagues. And they're just going. And a lot of them are going online. But I remember going down to Cardiff City and seeing a guy with a couple of boxes of them selling them. I think they were about 50p when I first started going down there. And there was stuff in there you couldn't see elsewhere. And it was part of the game. And I enjoyed it. And now, well, I know things change, but I'm going to miss them.
Okay. Next one. Um, the Rona of the week. Okay. So on Monday, um, big announcements all over the place. The first minister has got it again. The first minister is self-isolating. Okay. Um, remember when the Pfizer vaccine first came out and they said it was 95% effective. Now we know, and it's from the Pfizer chief executive. Um, vaccines don't stop you getting it. Don't stop you passing it on. Uh, they just reduce the symptoms. The run is not going away. It's here and it'll be here forevermore. However, it seems like it's getting more contagious but less serious. I know a lot of people who've got it and I know a lot of people who've got it and never had it before. And some of them say it made them feel really, really bad. And I've had the flu, which put me in bed for five days and I was sweating and I was freezing and my bones were aching and whatever. Uh, it was proper flu. And it sounds a lot like that. And other people who've had it and say it's just like the sniffles. Yeah, these things don't go away. So, you know, whatever. Anyway, so let's look back at the week. Starting Saturday morning. Saturday morning in the John Wallace Linton listening to the Travel Commons podcast. No adverts. Um, done by a guy called Mark Peacock. He's American. He travels in America and to Europe. And he flies a lot. And he likes his craft beer. And I follow him on Untapped. And he's talking about solo drinking. I'm at the stage now where in my life... I prefer solo drinking. I prefer solo drinking with the cans in and various social networks, including Twitter and Mastodon. <sighs> it is really good. If you're into your beers and you save you your beers, yeah, solo drinking. Obviously, um, it can be a bit dangerous, but I think I've got it under control. And... Um, after the John Wallace Linton, straight into, uh, I don't know if it was Poundland or Super Savers or everything under a pound, but more Christmas lights. Um, ones that looked like Christmas trees, big ones, they were a fiver, um, two AA batteries. <sighs> Going to start putting them on my desk in work and on my desk at home. And when I go away, be knowing, MB12 is next week, um, into the places where I'm staying. I think that'll be the most of Christmas, to be perfectly honest. And um, when I was in um, Tiny Rebels Bar in Newport, downloaded Brave. Brave the browser. I quite like it. I don't think it's going to be my number one browser, but yeah, I quite like it. If you're looking for an alternative browser that doesn't track you and is security and privacy forward, Brave. Built on Chromium, of course. Sunday. So I thought I'd have a look and see if the World Cup Dream Team was up. It is. Um, and if you want to do a World Cup Dream Team stroke fantasy football um, and you want to be in a league, um, ping me and I'll send you a link to the league. Um, you can get me through YouTube, you can get me through Twitter, Facebook and WordPress, I believe. Hmm, Monday. Monday went to Tesco in up a boat after work. Okay, I needed some things, including a new pair of jeans. The pockets went. They were threadbare, to be perfectly honest. Um, it's Christmas Central there. Everything is Christmas. You're going through the doors, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. All the, uh, the middle row at the bottom end is sort of Christmassy, but nothing like Tesco's. Um, I think this year everyone should wait until just before Christmas, because I think... People won't buy and then prices will come down. But you uh, might think differently. Okay. And also on Monday, well, on Saturday, uh, I have these earbuds. Uh, I used to have Sennheiser ones, which were about 30 quid odd. And they would last between about nine months and a year. And 30 quid is a lot of money. And then I started buying these. Well, they say they're British, but uh, they're not made here. They're British designed. They're about a tenner. Um, they come with three sets of different year um, silicone thingies. Uh, they have a microphone on them. They have uh, play and pause and volume controls. They last about, well, these lasted about 
two and a half, three years. And I always keep a spare pair and a tenner, you can't really go wrong. And you may say, where are your blue tusks? Well, I have blue tusks as well, but if you're out in the pub and you need to take them out and in and all that sort of stuff, having them on at the end of a cable is much better. Plus, much better on the electricity front and recharging. Not so good when you're in the house and then you get a caught on a door handle though, but what can you do? Um, Tuesday. Um, the monthly Android update, the 6A got updated. I'm not sure what it did. It said security patches was only about 20, 30 megs. I sorted that out like the wind. And that's it beeping at the moment. Who'd have thought? Um, and also on Tuesday, after work, tail scale installation. Very easy. Um, I logged on with my Google credentials and it just works. It auto configures and it just works, which is unusual because most software that says it just works doesn't at all. Okay, um, Wednesday morning, TweetDeck, um, various columns. I search on at TFW Rail to see what's happening with the local rail company. They'd all gone. I couldn't get them back. I deleted the column, put it back in, didn't work. Also on Echophone, on the iPhone, they'd gone as well. I'm not sure what happened, but at the end of the day, they were certainly back. And I had a, um, I had a, a message early on on Wednesday morning saying, you know that thing that's coming between the 16th and the 29th? It's coming today. The Belkin Mount, which I'm looking at at the moment. DHL delivered it. Um, it needed a signature because it's coming from Apple, therefore it's a security thing and it has a little red dot on it. Yeah, okay. It's great. It's small. It's wonderful. The only thing is, I didn't have a MagSafe phone case. So it didn't really stick in. Um, that's where the Amazon came in. Um, 13 Pro cases are too cheap now because they're not the ones that are selling. So I had a Otterbox one for half price that's MagSafe. And as you can tell, my phone isn't falling off the back of my MacBook Air. Oh, Thursday. Yeah, it arrived. The case. I tested it. It worked. It's good. It really is good. Uh, also on Thursday, iPhone, iPad, Mac OS updates. Zero days. Um, not altogether sure if they fixed the Wi-Fi bug. Uh, but there you go. Okay. Friday. Um, I've been trying focus modes. It's a bit like do not disturb, but more customizable. I've just got one for driving in the car and basically it shuts off everything apart from your driving software um, and it just lets those who you know come through. So I've got two or three people who if they contact me, it'll come up. Everything else, no interruptions. Not bad at all, um, if you can remember to put them on. Um, and also in Bedwas, there used to be a betting shop. There isn't a betting shop there now. It closed during the Rona, basically because people were betting online and they like it and it's easier. And now we've got a florist and it looks really nice, but I worry about them starting up in the beginning of a recession. I wish them well. People always need flowers, but I worry. I do. And also Christmas markets, Wales Online, Aren't Christmas markets expensive? Yes, they are. Um, German beer, £7 a pint. Yeah, now, I'm going to go in Skady Cuts, which is just opposite them. They're not cheap, but they're really good. And uh, there you go. Anyway, um, oh, yeah, looking on Facebook this morning. Um, yeah, I was looking, there was cats and tigers and rape my plate and then there was something about the bunch of grapes a lot of pictures and i was just about to pass it by and it said we are building a microbrewery and we intend to resurrect the otley beers i think it's starting with otley 01 this is great news otley beers otley beers were excellent really like them and i miss them and I like the bunch of grapes as well, you know, ponty. <laughs> anyway, so that was my week. Um, it's dry now, it's dry tomorrow and it's dry Sunday. And it's still incredibly mild for the time of year. So um, if you want to be in the dream team, 
contact me if you've got any contact any contacts any comments please contact me even if it's to say eh. anyway how much time 15 minutes well over well, i better go now bye bye